Hey everybody, welcome back. I know I was bad and did not have a video last week, but I'm really working on getting better at this stuff. Today we're going to be working on one of my favorite personal projects that is honestly a highlight of my workshop here. It is my custom made NASA toggle switch system, which was inspired by the Apollo and shuttle control consoles. And today I'm going to show you how I built it. So something I forgot to mention about this project, if you have no experience working with any kind of electrical systems, please do not try this by yourself. This is really only for people who have been properly trained on how to, you know, wire homes. So if you're not comfortable, please find somebody that you know who can help you out. Okay, so back to instructions. It doesn't really have that many complicated parts. The one main component you'll see is the panel in which the switches, the toggle guards, and the handles are mounted to. That's just a sheet of metal that I got from my local home store. I cut that at first using my Dremel, which turned out being a really bad idea because I couldn't get straight lines. And then in the end, I just ended up using a hacksaw, which ended up working great. So once I had the rectangle cut out of my metal, I then charted out where all of the holes are gonna go in my panel. I wanted them to be equally distributed and I wanted two rows in case I had more lights or other things I wanted to toggle on and off in my workshop. Once the holes were drilled, I then painted. I started out with a primer just so I had a good sealer. It doesn't really need to be sealed since it's metal, but just a good first base coat for my then gray spray paint to go on. I, I just chose a satin gray for my local home store. It works great. I put on about two coats and then I was ready to start mounting different aspects of my power panel. These are 20 amp toggle switches. I hooked them up to a 15 amp service, so they're able to handle the current that runs through them. They're only switching on and off the lights to my little workshop here, so they should be fine. I'm also gonna have them grounded. You'll see that there's two really distinct design points of this little switch panel, one of them being the toggle switch guards, and then also the little handles on the side. I know I'm not floating around the cabin in my workshop, but I just thought it'd be kind of a fun aesthetic to, to add. When you look in the space shuttle or other kind of spacecraft, they have handles all over the place so astronauts can grab on and work with whatever instruments are in front of them. So I thought it would be fun to add handles uh, just for a visual aesthetic. They really serve no function at all. I found the toggle switch guards on eBay. I'll put the link in the description below. The person that makes them said that they came from the original mold from the space shuttle. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but when you look at photos comparing the ones that I have versus the ones that are in the shuttle and the ones that are also going to be in the Orion spacecraft, they look very similar, if not the same. So it's hard to say from afar, but I was very happy with what I got. So then I just mounted the toggle switches and the guards to my panel along with my handles. I actually have a couple spare here. They're actually extra from some rack mounted servers I bought a long time ago and I thought that they would work as great accessories and I was right, they look great. Once everything was bolted together, I then wired it into the little grid that I have in my workshop turn on the lights and everything's good to go. I love it. It's definitely a conversation starter whenever I come down here and show my friends my workshop. It really makes a unique personal touch to my personal space. So what do you think of my switches? I know it's not exactly the most beautiful piece of artwork, but it's something I've never seen before and I hope works as inspiration for other do-it-yourselfers to make other interactive and practical objects in their own home that speak to their interests, mine being human spaceflight. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any ideas for future projects, please let me know in the comments down below. Please subscribe to my channel. We crossed the 50 subscriber mark and I am super happy aiming for 100 now. Again, thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.